Hello everyone, this is part 5 of 5. This video is addressed to my twin flame Shaya. Hi Shaya. And for everyone else who's watching, I thank you for watching. Uh, this is mostly about a crime activity against me. However, in this last part, I I told Shaya uh, I'm, he has not been getting enough attention. It's been beyond abusive. Because of the possession and control that I've been under, it's been beyond abusive to you, Shaya. And You've been, you've been so abused. So... We're gonna, I'm gonna talk about you, Shia. And I told you I'm going to start a playlist. And whether or not you look at it, I, I want to save some videos, and I think that some of them you'll like. Because there's no way I'm going to make a playlist and put it on private, so that you don't get attacked. It would be attacked if you if I put it on private, because you... So this is some things about you, Shia, and I've been getting raped this entire time. It's, what time is it? Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's been three hours. No, it's been four hours. I started at six thirty. Seven thirty, eight thirty, nine thirty. It's been almost three and a half hours, and I've been getting raped this entire time. It, it's more worse and then lessens a little, but it's been the whole time. So we're gonna talk about Shia. I'm gonna play your video so that I'm watching. You, while I talk about you. And something did happen this week that I can't share with you over the internet. Basically, um... There was a reason why I haven't been improving in this building. There was a female that was throwing demons in me and doing witchcraft and renewing it every month since I've moved in. And the Rocky Exorcist kind of made me aware of it, or telepathic supporter made me aware of it. But I can't talk to you about it on the internet, however, I'm just going to say Something I figured something out this week. Um, there was something illegal happening, and it has nothing to do with the the management here. It, but there was a female that was throwing demons in me, having access to me, access to me to throw the demons in. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to talk about who. I'm not going to talk about how. I'm, I'm not going to put that on the internet. However, when I'm with you, and when I have the support of you being with me, we might do something about it because I was living here and I'm like, okay, my life is going to improve. I have my own space. No. <laughs> I got uglier. I got sicker. And it wasn't just, it wasn't because, it wasn't because of this building or me being in this apartment that was making me sicker. There was a demon thrower. Let me see if there's any emails I have to share with you. But that person is in trouble and there's something, I, there's something that happened that I can't share with the internet. I'm not trying to be annoying to like make you think, well, what the hell was it? It's not that important, but like, it is important. It's not that important. But the, the reason why I haven't been improving was because of a specific female that somehow had access to me over the, since I've been living here. I was throwing demons in my body routinely and these demons were not were specific type of demons
but a lot of you always you have to have access to be able to do some of the things some of the witchcraft you have to have access to the person so we'll, we'll talk about that another time and I'm not talking about it on the internet because I just can't. I can't tell. I can't share. It's too personal. The information is too personal. About in order to tell, explain the story to, I'd have to give you. I have to give the other people besides you share personal information that they're not allowed to know. So, so let's talk a little bit about Shia. And l let me just tell you, I've been very, very happy about the fact that uh, you were able to post th through your, well, with your parents' post. And I have to, I, I, I don't want you to think that I'm not, sometimes I don't think that you're watching, so I think I'd be acting a lot happier if I knew that you were watching, but they have this whole thing that they think you're not watching. Yeah, all of a sudden, and after five years of rape torture, I give up. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to go do something uh, crazy that would put me in jail. That's what they keep saying. No. Keep winning. Keep doing crime that would put you behind bars. Keep winning. So I've been um, doing some research about uh, searching the study and character of personality in order to try to help me express myself and how I know and how much I know about you. Because sometimes words just do not happen anymore. Something happened in my brain. If, there, if there's a, and I, I believe this happening to your brain too. Some of some of it when it has no. When it feels like it's like kind of dead, but I've also been doing some research on how to take care of a husband. How I'm, how I'm going to take care of you and be your caretaker, Shia. So this is about Shia. Oh, I already, I already, I've got to find the page that I didn't talk about. Um, uh, I don't know why I highlighted this because I don't remember saying any of this to you. Well, let me just say this stuff, some more stuff to you. Shia, you have your guard up, and you're supposed to. 
Oh, I do remember you. St I do remember saying that to you. Shia, you're very affectionate. Every time I, sometimes when I see your video, it's like I know more and more about you every time. I watch it, even now after watching it hundreds to thousands of times. Shia, you've been loving Alyssa, and she can feel it. You've been loving me. We both torch in different ways. You've had a lack of love in the past. I can feel it in your body. I can see it. You're very sensory sensitive. I can tell you that you definitely have sensory sensitivity. And I believe that you are, you are also, because of the abuse that you've taken, you're going to be sensitive to touch. But I'm going to know how to touch you, Shia. And you're going to know how to touch me because I'm very sensitive to touch. Uh, one thing I know about you, Shia, is you're going to adopt my hobbies and interests. I'm going to adopt your hobbies and your interests. Because you're interested in what I... You're interested in my hobbies. I'm interested in your hobbies. And it's because you want to be with me all the time. We're going we're gonna to do each other's hobbies because we want to be with each other all the time. They're, they're, trying, they're saying things that are, could be my thought but they're not allowing me to say it and it's causing confusion, it's causing you pain. Shia, I know that you're tortured and you feel that I'm being insensitive because you're not allowed to talk and I am, but you are talking through those posts on Facebook and in other ways, spiritually, telepathically, or connection. And I have not been able to talk to you or, or talk in general in the way, the way of what's been going on my entire life, up until seven months, up until seven months ago. So if I, if you're getting upset that I'm ignoring the fact that you can listen to me, and I don't care that I can't, don't listen to you. That's not the truth at all. I do care. I'm not allowed, I can't, uh, um, they're possessing me not to talk about that. But you're just like me. You would do this for me. Something I know about you, Shia, is that you're a very observant person. I can tell just by the way that you were thinking and how you responded to people that you're very observant. Something that I really like that I've really, that's really been able to help me is that you've been able to pay attention to me. And I am, I'm still very, very upset that you may have thought that I cheated on you all of that time. I can now see some of the, you had your guard up more than normal than I would think that you would have towards me that I noticed and you weren't told things and they told me that you weren't told the truth because it would they would torture you more torture the people that would tell you a lot of people aren't helping us at all because they're just going to get tortured if they do Another thing that you do, Shia, for me is you make me feel safe and loved. Oh, I was supposed to s s 
stare at you and then do some healing and see if you felt it during the moment that I was going to do it to you. So let's just try. Playing with my face, make up ugly. We have a similar, we have a similarities that make us like twin flame similarities. So I'm going to do something in this. And, and tell me if you can feel it while you're watching me do this. And they could be blocking because they know I'm doing it. I'm gonna stop because I think that they're actually like, that was way too set up because I don't think that was natural. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Something I know, Shia, that you're going to want and that I'm gonna want is we're gonna be inseparable. Never in a million years would I think that we were going to be humiliated with not being able to meet and be with each other until our late 30s, almost 40s. This is humiliation. I've been so fucking, hum I've been so humiliated. My family has humiliated me so much for being single and not having a family of my own. Year after year, they're all having kids, boyfriends, husbands, wives, children, and I'm all alone. I know you've been humiliated too, Shia. So Shia, if, if there's something that I'm, you're, you're wondering, well, why doesn't she say something, say this about me? I know that she knows that this is, that there's something she knows about me that she's not saying. It's probably because I'm being triggered by the word or the thought or the, the thing that is about you. If I'm not saying it, they're triggering me. Another thing that I know about you, Shia, is that you're very hurt. Obviously, if you met me during that time uh, when it, it, the most, it was the worst time of my life. It was one of the worst times of my life that you met me. And the most, the most unnatural. I know that you're very hurt, Shia. And I, th I had the thought that Well, if you're crying, I think you, but you're allowed to cry more than me. Actually, I want to think that you're less possessed than me, but I doubt it. But if you're crying, well, I do cry, but I am so... I told you, if I have a little bit of sadness, they'll turn it into artificial so that I can't actually cry. Uh, another thing about you, Shy, that I know about you is because of all the torture that you've gone through, you have heightened senses. Your senses, your sensory, is heightened because of all the torture that you've gone through. I know that and I can see it. Uh, and something I also know about you is that you're very worried and you're forced to be worried. Another thing I know about you, Shia, is that you have a noble pur purpose in life. You have a very noble purpose in life. And part of spiritual ascension part of spiritual ascension by the way, you don't have to read those articles I told you about from Alexia in Paris. 
It's not all true, everything that they're saying. However, I'm going to probably look uh, at their information, at the information that they're giving. But it's not all correct. I, I read with the spiritual ascension, there was going to be a recycle of this virtual satanic reality if we don't win. Well, the game has already been over from what I know. And it's end times. It's the end of Satan. End times means the end of Satan. They don't have any more time left. There's no fucking way that they're going to be able to renew it for another 26,000 years. However, I, who knows? I don't know everything. I don't know everything. And I'm not talking shit about that account and whoever's putting that information out there. Either. But I know that you ha we both have a uh, spiritual ascension purpose in life, and it's very noble. Another thing that I know about you, Shia, is that you're highly curious. I can just tell, and I can tell that you're a curious person. Another thing that I know about you, and this is because I know you're like, you're like me, you don't like sarcasm. It's just negative. Sarcasm is wicked annoying. So I wrote some more things about you that I know about you, Shia, that I think about. Uh, something I know about you, Shia, is that you're a thinker. Because of the way you spoke and how you acted, I know that you're a thinker. I know that you're very intelligent, Shia. And you have spirit guides. And you also, spirit guides have told me that you think that I'm intelligent. That makes me very happy. Another thing that I know about you, Shia, they're trying to act like I'm bored talking about you. That's what they just did with AI. <laughs> Shia, it, you're, uh, is, I know that you're very grateful and thankful because you found me. Or I found you and you found me. The way, it was, the way it was set up though, it was controlled to bring us down. Another thing that I know about you, Shia, is that you're very stressed. So you have to do things to try to help with your stress. I think that we're both just so caught up with trying to survive, getting tortured, and doing this Lumerian technology that it's very hard to have time to not be stressed out. Uh, Shia, well, another thing that I know about you is that you're a victim of crime. Hey, this is on. I thought I'd turn it off. So you're a victim of crime, Shia. You've been near death like me. You're not going to die. Allah is not going to let you die. I don't like how Allah sounds like Alyssa and A L A A L A L. I don't think I'll, I'll be called Allah Allah all the time. Because they make them, and right now, gent, little demons in my head are making fun of me when I say Allah. Something I know about you, Shai, is that your health is fragile. You've just had too much torture and crime against you. And also because you're a man, you've probably gone through more torture than me. You have, because of what happened to the, the clone child. You're, that's more torture. 
I've been through uh, one of the worst cases of crime and torture on this planet. You have too, maybe even a little more because of that. But it's going to change. Another thing that I know about you, Shia, is that you have anxiety. Actually, a psychic says you have anxiety, is you're anxious. One time, Shia, uh, they don't tell me much, but uh, there was two psychics that said that you have an you're, you're anxious. What else did a psychic tell you that I, re I remind that I remember today that I want to tell you? Another thing that I know about you is you're cautious. I think that we both, because we've been so near death and there's been so much um, black magic and witchcraft against us and voodoo, we have to be cautious. And I don't think we put ourselves in danger like other people. Because we would have more, we would be more likely to um, have the danger happen to us. So I, would, I wouldn't want you to put, do anything to put yourself in danger. And we're not going to in the future. We're not going to take risks in the future when we meet either. Something I know about you, Shai, is you're not materialistic. I can just tell, I can tell by your, the things that you wear and the way you, your hair is and everything. Why? Because of your hair? Well, your hair is actually like a little bit like me, like a little messy. Not in a bad way, in a good way. Something I know about you, Shy, is that you're very centered. Hey, I already told you about that. Shia. And they're making me sound funny, my voice, Shia, when I t t talk about you. You're very centered, you're very internally balanced, even though you are... We're both unbalanced right now, but you're naturally centered and internally balanced. Uh, another thing that I know about you, Shia, is that you exhibit good judgment. You have good judgment about you. And you're a deep thinker. Because of our telepathic connection, there's been a lot of not true you, but there has been true you. And Lumerians told us that they're going. The Lumerians told me that they're going to tell us what was actually real and what wasn't, which is going to be which is going to help both of us a lot, and it's going to be amazing to know. You have a very pleasing personality. Something I know about you, Shai, is you have a very pleasing personality. You have a very kind nature. Both of us, both of us, you're boyish and youthful. You're not like old acting or manly. And I'm not like old acting or like womanly, like o over overly womanly. So we're both we both have that youthfulness. I think it's the Lumerian in us. Uh, another thing I know about you, Shia, is that you're very enthusiastic. You have enthusiasm. Obviously, when you have depression, I know that you you don't feel enthusiastic, but you have nat natural enthusiasm and you're very expressive because of the face facial expressions that I saw you're a very expressive person honestly because of the possession and because of the torture I notice that there's not a lot of expression going on in my face another thing I know about you Shai is that you have a sincere heart you have a very sincere heart, Shia. And you're very deep and thoughtful. 
Another thing that I know about you, Shai, is that you're very strong-willed. And another thing that I know about you, because of all the torture that you've gone through, you need you you have a need for comfort. That's why when we get together, and I'm going to slowly try to make more comfortable environment for you, for both of us. I told you in the last film. Overstuffed pillows, fuzzy rugs, lots of blankets, really comfortable pillows, really comfortable clothes, just really cozy. And cozy is spiritual. There's a spiritual energy to coziness. And we need comfort. We've been so uncomfortable. I mean, I've just been barely wanting to, to live in this body. It's been so painful. So what we need is comfort, Shai, and I'm going to make sure that we're both very comfortable. When we're together, I'm going to make sure that the environment's very comfortable for us. Another thing that you do, Shai, is you make me smile and laugh. And you make my life better. You've made my life better since 2018 when you were telepathically with Lumerians, when I was on Shasta and they telepathically connected us. But the video really makes me smile and laugh. Makes my life better. So these are some things that I'm, I want to... So I'll talk a little bit more about you. Now let's wait. The, let's meet, let's a little talk about that next week. Shy things that I want to do with you. I want to be your caretaker. I want to take care of you. And because of all that you've gone through, that's going to be. That's going to be really what I want to do. Is be your caretaker. I want to have a spiritual practice with you, Shia. I think I already said this stuff. Yeah. So this is Shia. This is the last. I'm I'm gonna stop end the video after this. Things things for Shia. So I want to, I've been researching caregiving, caretaking, daily living. I would like to be a homemaker for you. And Shia, I really want you to be a homemaker too. We're not going to have the nine to five and both leave each other. It's not happening. We're both going to be home, at home. But obviously, um, homemaking, you know what I mean. Activities of daily living with Shia. We're going to be dressing, bathing, eating, providing intellectual and emotional stimulation, grooming. I know that sounds really basic, but it's actually really not. When Because of the torture that we've gone through, it's really hard to eat and make food. It's really hard to get dressed. Um... I really would like to dress well, dress better. Hannah and Rudolph were much better dressed. I, mean, I think that we can be casual, but also look not so casual. I want to bring comfort and strength to you, Shia, when you need it most. I want to be, I want to be your comfort and your strength when you need it most, Shia. I want to monitor your well-being and that there's not a single person on this planet that I've ever wanted to monitor, monitor, monitor their well-being. I want to monitor your well-being, Shia. And I want to calm your anxieties. If you don't, if you're not on anything for anxiety, I do recommend hydroxyzine because it's an antihistamine, it's anti-allergy, uh, anti and it just it does something, 
the hydroxyzine does something. It's not a heavy drug. You don't need a, like a psychiatrist to, to give you a hydroxyzine because it's like an anti-allergy. Like when I was getting like itch torture and I was getting chronic itch, the, um, well, sometimes the itch torture is AI, but also it's an allergic reaction. When I take the hydroxyzine, I stop getting itchy. Um, so Shia, you're gonna you're gonna be able to when you're with me, you're gonna be able to process and release your emotions with me. You're gonna uh, and create a balance. I'm going to create a balanced and nurturing life with you, Shia. And I want to have I want us to have, share a journal. Not just have our own journals. I want to share a journal with you. I also want to um, monitor your stress levels and aspects of your health and well-being. As a caretaker, I mean, I need to do that for you. And I'm going to and I want to. And I want to give you, Shia, a daily comfort. I just want you to... If there's anything that I really want to give you is make you comfortable because you've been so physically and mentally tortured, I really, really want to make you comfortable. Um, another thing that I really want to do is research topic conversations so we can talk about different things. And I don't think we're going to have problems talking about things. However, it, I told you that in that book it increases connection and intimacy when we look up these conversation starters. I want to light candles with you, Shia. I want to do mini workouts and stretching. Sometimes we're not going to want to work out and do a big workout, but I really would, I really would like to have the motivation to do mini workouts, like 10 to 20 minutes every few hours, or stretch for a few minutes, one or a few times a day. It's really hard sometimes for me to move. However, I. I actually I walked two and a half hours indoors today. Sometimes the the rape torture is less when I walk, when I get up, when I get off the chair or the bed. I have been sitting in that chair a little bit lately. So I've been doing that 35, 34 minute dance cardio, H I T H I I T video. Tapping the knots, tap, tapping the knots. I actually, for the first week over a year or a year and a half, I'm using this foot massager. Um, Shreya, something I know about you is you're very loving. can't read what I wrote. You're very loving shine to me. So I'm going to stop the video now. I feel awful. So Shia, if you're wondering why I'm not happy because I know that you're listening to me, you know I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's a miracle. It's helping me and I know it's helping you. Uh, please just don't think that I'm. it's all about me. It's going to be 50%, 50%. It was possession and control that was making me not be allowed to talk about you and your situation as much. So, I will talk to you next week. Thank you so much everyone for watching and thank you so much Shai for watching. We're going to, I'm going to talk more about you next week. Thank you everyone for watching. Thanks, Shai, for watching.